Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, straight away, there's too many Frio fans in here. Too many Frio fans. Welcome, welcome. We'll wait for some more people to come in, then I'll actually do some talking, shall we? But, uh, yeah. Sydney Swans versus Fremantle Dockers. It's going to be a win for the Swans, I feel. Oh, man, cow. Or oh, maybe you're not through then. Sorry to hear that you're a West Coast fan. I feel your pain, mate. I feel your pain. And it's even worse because Kangaroos have just gone on one. I don't know what that leads the table to. Let's have a look at the table so far. Let's have a look. No, definitely not your year. Uh, yeah, now North Melbourne are level on points with West Coast. That's awkward. God, eight points. Jesus. Even even the Bombers have got 20. That's crazy. Big game for Swans, though. Need these points. Really need these points. Need Carlton to lose. A good... No Actually, I tell you what. The, the Melbourne... The Roos win against Richmond. That's great for the Swans. Like, really good for the Swans. Gives us a little bit of a gap. Uh, anyway, hi, Skull and Crossbones. Mark, hello, mate. It's, um, well, yeah. It doesn't make any difference for the Kangaroos, does it? Th that win for them makes no difference at all. However, that is a good result for the teams above Richmond. Definitely. You know, the Swans, I will take that. I will take that all day long. Um, yeah, I think I've got to go to BT Sport. I've got to change my stream. I think I've got to go to English B... Yeah. Right, I'm on BT Sport. That's what I'm doing. Okay, we're watching wrestling at the moment. Even though it's WWE, so it's rubbish. Um, morning, Steve. Yes, Steve. This is the, you are going to enjoy this, mate. You are going to enjoy this. You're going to really enjoy this if this is your first AFL game. It's on BT Sport shortly. Um, I've got it on the Discord server as well, so if anyone doesn't have access, it's on the Discord server. I thought as well... Gunk on my arm. You gross cat. you got eye bogeys, haven't you? Ugh. Pixie, that's gross. Gross cat. Ugh. Come on, jump down. Um, yeah, it's on BT Sport. Uh, or it's on... I've got it on Discord, so you're welcome to watch on there as well. They will be... Mark, you... you well, this season they certainly be down the bottom. They're not going any higher, are they? Hi, Kian. I see, as it's a, a sensible kickoff time, we're going to have some people from England. That's brilliant. Um, Swans are... So, right. They're not the... Swans are not the best team. So, as Steve doesn't know, um, you... Yeah, Swans are not the best team, but they're quite an exciting young team. Uh, they've... They're in the top. They're seventh at the moment, so they're in the in the in the area to get into the playoffs and the finals come September time. So they're a good team, but they they've lacked consistency this year. Annoyingly, they've really lacked consistency. Hi, Pat. Big game. Yeah, yeah. We need to keep the wins coming. We need to keep the wins coming and push away from eighth spot just to make sure we are um, going to make the finals. If we can get top four. If we can get top four, that is the got to be the goal. That has got to be the goal, top four. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me so far. I think that's what that's what's frustrating at the moment with Swans is the just the lack of consistency. You know, 
losing to teams that we shouldn't be losing against. I'm sure that's how Richmond will be feeling today as well. Exactly. Sadly. Um, exactly. You just, just want to be in the top four. No, Buddy's not. Why would Buddy go to the Dockers next year? No, he'll probably retire. If, if, if he stops, he'll probably retire, I think. Peter, you're in the wrong stream, mate. You're in the wrong stream if you're here for... If you're, if you're a um, Giants fan. Uh, Steve, I, I saw, and it's frustrating, isn't it? Because actually, the whole the whole derby, KR were the better team and lost. But 60-0 to, to Wigan. Wigan, good team, but really to be winning that much, is that's a shock, isn't it? Hi, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go Roos. That's, as I said, um, the Kangaroos losing, uh, sorry, the Kangaroos winning is a great result for Swans. So that's good for us. Uh, ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, possibly Pat. The only problem is with the with that is I don't really know. I'm not in the know enough. I don't think at the moment of of who's coming through and all that sort of stuff. Uh, welcome guys, anyone that's just joined, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you want access to the game and you haven't got, you can't see it, join the Discord server. It is showing in, hang on, no it's not showing in there, now it is. Uh, the game will be showing in the Discord server so you can join there for any of the English people that might not have BT Sport. Yeah, they're not here for rugby kin. Hi, Shannon. Uh, my day's okay. It's, it's not long started, to be honest. And the weather is lovely. Hence why I've got no t-shirt under my, under my top. Kian, stay around for the first half an hour, mate. You'll enjoy it. Is, the is it the third test as well? The third test, um, Aussies versus England. I'm going to assume it is. Friendly Internationals, yeah. Oh, that's another interesting one, isn't it? 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one so far between Australia and England. Who is going to get the deciding win? Ireland beat New Zealand 32-22 as well. Hi Mick, Tigers fan here. Oh, nice, uh, Mick. You must be gutted if you're a Tigers fan. You must be absolutely gutted to be losing to the Roos. That is awkward, right? As I said, Tigers losing to the Kangaroos. Great for the Swans. Um, Sue. Hi Sue. Don't know what you're talking about, Sue. Don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Dave. Didn't, Dave, you didn't fancy a trip to the West Coast then? So I'm just watching the last uh, last little bit of the wrestling. I haven't watched WWE for so long. God, just as awful as I remember. Hi, Claire. Yes, yes, people are coming in. Yeah, the beard's coming along, isn't it? The beard's coming along. Mm. 
Well, I agree, Cal. I agree. You can't call rugby football, can you? You can't call American American football that either, can you? Um, at least, at least these are the two sports where they use their feet quite a bit. Come on, finish this rubbish wrestling. Yeah, I did I did see that. This is meant to be finishing. The wrestling is on and it's got one minute to hurry up and finish. Uh, Peter, the problem is as well, so obviously I've grown a beard, yeah, during the summer, and the problem now is, if I get rid of it, I'm probably going to have tan lines, aren't I? If I get rid of this beard, I'm going to have tan lines on my face and look stupid. Um, so that is a mistake I've made, but now I've got to just go through with it now, don't I? Just got to keep doing it. All right, so the wrestling's finished. I don't know if... It, is, is, is the Swans game even showing on uh, KO, on the Fox channels? I don't know if it is. But BT Sport needs to hurry up. Take that for nothing. Stop these adverts, for Christ's sake. All of them are on KO. Maybe I'll switch to KO then. Because I know on Fox 504, it's the, the Cats Carton game. No, I'll go back to BT Sport. That should be fine. Alright, we're at the Optus. The most beautiful stadium possibly in the world. Let's get some sound up ready for the game to start. I bloody love the Optus. I assume they're kicking off a little bit late. I, I honestly, I think the Optus is just beautiful. What a stadium! Okay, so the game is going to kick off shortly. They're doing their little team huddles. Uh, the game is showing in the Discord server if you want to watch it, if you don't have access to it. The game is on BT Sport over here. It may be on one of the one of the Fox channels, but I'm not sure. Um, because I know on Fox 504, it's the Carlton, the Carlton game. Big game, big game, especially, well, big game for both teams. Fremantle, this is just, it's just if Fremantle win, it's going to really help cement their place in the top four. Swans need to win to try and get into the top four, just to breach that gap. So it's it's a it's a should be a good game. Could go either way. You know, plenty of weeks. Oh, hello, she is a hottie. Um, plenty of weeks go by when you get some real shock results. Richmond versus uh, Richmond versus North Melbourne. That's a shock result today. So it's going to be an interesting one, definitely. 
Roll on. Roll on kickoff. Swans for the win. Games on Fox 503 then. I've got it on I've got it on um, BT Sport. What am I going to be behind? Let me just check. Uh, I am 25 seconds behind, all right? I'm 25 seconds behind, so try not to do any spoilers. Um, I'll keep giving time checks just to make sure. If you're watching on live TV and you're able to pause, maybe pause it for 25 seconds and you'll be level with me. But uh, I want to see I want to see Isaac Heaney really, really... I want to see Isaac Heaney... Have the energy, have the explosion, and, and score those goals today. No, 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 no. Fremantle won't win this. This is a Swans game all day long. All day long. Uh, so, I would say to that, the Optus is so good, hence why it was the, the finals, the, the final was played there last year. But, Simply because the MCG has the, the history and the prestige, plus AFL is more of a Victorian sport, right? That's why I'm going to say. Uh, is there, uh, hopefully the sound's okay for everyone as well. Go on. Oh, Papley, that was a good effort. Well, the Swans game is in Perth, but that's because the Dockers are the home team. That's how it should work, right? Uh, so, Kian. Kian, basically... So, this is being played at the Optus Stadium. If you haven't watched my stadium tours, do. The Optus is absolutely gorgeous, right? Um, the MCG is the Melbourne Cricket Ground, which is, you know, where where a lot of, you know, the main sporting events are held in, in Melbourne, uh, in Australia. And the debate is which stadium's nicer. And I think, from an outside view, I think the Optus. What's up? That's not free, is it? You big girl's blouse, honestly. Um, so, Steve, so this is this is what annoys me when you hear the whistle. So, basically, I'll, t I'll give you a rundown. Now, you've, the idea is to kick through the middle posts. If you kick through the middle post, you get six points. And through the side posts, you get one point. And if you hit the middle post, only one point. Um, what's happening is... So you can do a hand pass, which basically you hold the ball and punch it. That's, yeah, that's a normal pass. But if you kick the ball, if you kick the ball over 15 metres and someone catches it, then that's called a mark. So actually they do it in rugby. Um, so they can mark the ball in rugby. It's the same as that. But the referee is blowing to say that there is a mark and therefore it's a free kick. Now, when they get that free, uh, they can either take it like a free kick or they can play on, it's up to them. But the whistle signals that it's gone over 15 metres and they've marked the ball. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Oh, it is annoying. The whistle is really annoying. I can tell you that for nothing. But hopefully that makes sense. Hi, Connor. Yes, I saw the uh, the All Blacks lost. Uh, there aren't many rules, if I'm honest, Steve. That is true, Cal. Yeah, the main sponsor is a is a telecoms company, but 
the Optus Stadium is after a telecoms company. So, because because the Fremantle player here caught the ball from 15 metres, it doesn't matter which team kicked it. If you catch it, you, you make the mark. So, Rory Lobb here now basically gets a free kick at goal. And as you can see, he, he went through the side post and gets one point. Yeah, yeah, Kian, you have to. It'll give you a headache, though, blowing your whistle that much. But there are loads of umpires in this. There's one, two, three in the middle. There's two by the goals, and then there's one, two, three, four on the on the lines. We struggle to get enough referees to referee football, so let alone having this many this many umpires in the AFL. I need to just be back. I just need to shut the, the back door. Um, no, I didn't manage to get to watch State of Origin. Um, I know Queensland won 2-1. Oh, God, my nose is itchy. I'm not picking my nose. My nose is itchy. Um, but the problem is, the game, you know, the first and third game are on a Wednesday. And obviously I'm working and not around, so I couldn't watch it. Low score in first first five and a half minutes here. I can't call a sickie when I'm the boss and I have to work, otherwise I don't get paid. Cheers, Sue. Have a nice rest of your evening, Sue. You would think Swans would. The commentator saying about Swans having better kickers than most teams, but sometimes I question that with the amount of behinds we seem to get. Guys, as there's a quick break, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button down below. Um, so I've not really got into watching Gaelic football. However, I am watching this year's grand, uh, this year's hurling final. So that's tomorrow. I watched it last year and it was brilliant. Uh, I'm watching it again this year, tomorrow at three thirty kick off. So, yeah, if anyone's around, hurling, hurling final tomorrow, it will be awesome. Ask Charlie come the live stem too. She's at work. I assume you mean tell Charlie to come on the live stream. She's at work, sadly. Uh, Freddie, they don't really do it anymore, do they? The the international. God, he's a bloody giant, that lad. Look how tall he is. Jesus. Rory Lobb with the six points. Hurling, hurling is awesome. Hurling, hurling, they use one of these and the ball. And it's, it's, they either, yeah, they try and hit it in the goal or over the post or through the post, sorry. It is awesome. It is awesome. Um, Captain LF, yeah, we, we we are going on a tour of the MCG uh, on the Wednesday, I think, when we get down there. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, think hockey, but in the air. Yeah, that's probably a better way of looking at it. Hockey, but in the air. 
Hickey is useless. Honestly, I don't like Hickey. Go on, Papley. Up. Lost his footing. Don't gob off to the bloody umpires. Uh, think, yeah, okay. Think like similar to lacrosse. Yeah, similar to lacrosse, but not nets. Just a big stick. There you go. That's that's like hurling. Sloppy joke. Hello, mate. Um, no, no. The, the, that was when Buddy got his thousandth goal. Um, so that is why they stormed the field. They will not be storming the field today. I can tell you that for nothing. Um, that was a special occasion. That was a special occasion at the start of the season. Hi, Nunya. Papley. To Buddy. Oh, it's not at Buddy, though, is it? It's not at him. Ended up being a poor kick to Papley. Well, the, the thing is, if you're a player, and, and Buddy is a quality player, but I do question if we need him, though. That, that's my only thought. Do we really need Buddy Franklin anymore? And I say that, and then he'll do something absolutely masterful. Um, so maybe we do still need him. If, if, if Swans think he's a valuable enough player, then you pay the wages. That's what you've got to do. You've got to do that to keep good players, right? Um, so, Steve, so... Is, yeah, so basically every sort of 15 metres they've got to bounce the ball. So you can keep the ball as long as you like, but every 15 metres, 15 step or something like that, you've got to bounce the ball uh, in between. If you don't bounce the ball, then you give the ball away to the other team. What are, this, what are Swans doing it? This disciplinary is letting them down here. Yeah, poor, poor discipline. Poor discipline. Not listening to the umpires is, is costing, is costing go potentially goals and territory. Hi, Richard. Yes, go Swans. Come on, Swans. Thirteen one. I don't want a situation, and this often happens. And it seems to be when I watch the Swans go down, and, and they end up having to try and catch up. And we don't want that. We do not want that today. Not listening. Not listening to the umpires. Just do as the umpires tell you and don't give away stupidity. You know, stupid things. Mm. Honestly, Claire, I think it, it, it keeps happening when I'm watching. Swans always start slow and end up having to catch up. And they're quite good. Swans are quite good at having a comeback, right? They're very good at coming back. But there's only so many times you can win from a losing position. Yeah, 
Come on! It's a tight angle, but it might be another six points for Dockers, eh? He's not young, is he? He's not young anymore. 36 isn't isn't young. Ah, squeezed in. 19-1. Uh, Cal, Dave, a guy Dave, Dave Bell sent me sent me a Swans shirt, so I support Swans. Cuz I didn't know any I didn't know any teams and didn't know enough. There you go. No, 36 is not young. It's not young. I'm 32 and I don't feel young. My mind feels young, but not my body. And it's different when you're playing sports. I, I think possibly AFL. AFL may be easier to, to play at an older age, especially if you're playing as a forward like, like Buddy. Um, because I don't think you have to have the endurance anymore. So... Yeah, Dave, you're old, mate. I don't think you have to have the endurance as much, especially if you're playing as a forward. You see Buddy, he can happily walk around for, for a lot of the game. So possibly he can get away with being older. It's not like, for example, in football, you know, players like Ronaldo. Look, Ronaldo, incredible fitness, athleticism for his age. Um, you know... I think you're you're okay, you know. I think it's easier as a forward in in AFL than, for example, in football. What am I wrong about, John? What would you like to tell me I'm wrong about? It's different, though. It's different. It, it's it's very much. I think in football, it's very much fast-paced bursts as well I don't think you quite do that in AFL I don't think you do it I don't think, possibly, maybe take the air out of the game. You, d I don't. What I'm, but listen to what I'm saying. I'm what I'm, I'm not saying. I think if you're sort of in the midfield positions in AFL and even the defensive positions, I think you need more endurance. Okay, you need more endurance. But if you're playing as a forward in AFL, I don't think you need the endurance. In football, bear in mind it's faster pace. It's a smaller pitch, so the ball is more likely to be at your feet more often. And I, and I honestly think that it, the, a player like Ronaldo is having to do a hell of a lot more than a player like Buddy. I, I truly think that. And I'm sure you guys will disagree because you're AFL fans. Uh, yeah, and that's fine. Oh, I dropped it. Close him down, close him down. Who's in a space? Go on, Papley. Over to Heaney. How's it going to bounce? How's the ball going to bounce? Got to score. Got to score. Get in there. Come on. Woo. Good little counter attack there. Very good counter attack. Swan should have the energy for that as well. With the, with the youthful, youthful experience, youthful experience. That doesn't make sense. Uh, the youthful energy that Swans have got. I, we're good at counter attacks. Exactly. Sloppy, sloppy joke. That is. That's what he can do. That's what he can do because he's just got to be in the right position. He is player like. Player like uh, Buddy doesn't need to be moving that much. He just needs to be in a space up the field. Too many 
at times. Players, for whatever reason, are afraid to kick to a contest. When you just back your teammate in, Louis. Important goal for Sydney. I feel that was a dodgy bounce by the umpire to to, uh, to Frio. Guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button. It'll only take you a second. And subscribe if you haven't already. Nunya, are you kidding me, right? Ronaldo is, is constantly trying to get round players. Passing and moving, shooting. I, I'm sure he's being tackled. Or at least, it, how it, maybe it's more exertion trying to actually dribble past players. Six minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. Stephen, I will not be singing any song other than Swans. And even then, I, I struggle to remember the Swan songs. Exactly, Cal. Exactly. Exactly. I try and have some interesting comment, uh, debates as well. Exactly, to be fair, you're on and off half the time. The amount of breaks you have in AFL. I, I, I know some of you disagree, but that is partly because you are AFL fans and you're going to have that bias, and that's fine. Um, but, you know, you don't have breaks. It, it's 45 minutes straight, then another 45 minutes. It's, you know, just because you're not being chucked to the ground... You're still having to burst past players and you've got the ball more often than not. So, yeah. We'll, we'll agree to disagree, maybe. Close him down. Close him down. Just, just don't let him see. Ball's out of play. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think Cristiano Ronaldo is better than Messi. That's what I'm going to say. I just realised I didn't. I didn't do a poll. Let me quickly do a poll. I completely forgot. Everyone, while you're here, click on the poll. Who's going to win? Some red and white, mate. Some red and white, Jake. Score 20 to 7. We just haven't had the chances. That's the problem. Swans just haven't had the chances. Two chances compared to... To Dockers. Five. Hi, Gobby. Nice to have you here, buddy. Exactly, Steve. Southampton playing red and white. I wouldn't necessarily say they're the best team, but they play in red and white. And if you're St. Helens, there you go. Yeah, apart from Southampton.
See you later, Kian. Enjoy the rugby. Enjoy, uh, enjoy, enjoy England beating the Wallabies. Three minutes fifty left of the first quarter. Um, we've signed. I think we signed a twenty-six-year-old from Rangers. Uh, we 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 bought Bella Kotchap who is sort of a wonder kid, is a low-level wonder kid on Football Manager. He's a centre-back. I've signed him a few times. Um, so he's some potential. We've we bought a couple of youngsters, basically. We need to get rid of players like Redmond, Walcott. Redmond needs to go because he's useless. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, Yeah, it, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know, to put it bluntly. We don't spend the money, sadly, on, on the quality. And therefore, we're not going to... I'd like to get your Europa League spot this year, but who knows. Oh no, it bounced past him. Um, I did see the result. I didn't actually watch it, but I did see um I did see the result. I said it's a great result for the Swans that, that Tigers lost. Hmm. Steve, that is what happens, mate. We're a feeder club, Southampton are. Look at look at Liverpool. They're only good because they signed all the Saints players. Well, you say that about at least, um, is that really, Oz, um, Wallabies in England are playing on, on Sydney cricket ground, that's weird isn't it, that you shouldn't play rectangles, uh, recta have rectangular pitches on oval, on oval grounds, it is rubbish because you're too far away from the action. Um, it, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're talking about if we're talking about the rugby. Don't know if we're talking about Aussie rules. Swans are winning this. Swans are winning this. We'll, we'll, we're going to have a, a really good little run in the second quarter, I think. Uh, Ariella Charlie doesn't really go for anyone, if I'm honest. She's not other than me, obviously. But no, she's not really a sports person other than bowls, obviously. And even then, I got her into that. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I saw Man United were down in are down in Australia for for um, pre season as well. All right, it was only an accident, umpire. Jesus Christ. Swans and England for the win. That's what it is. It's going to be a red and white day. That is what it's going to be. Red and white army. Mate, Dockers aren't winning this. They're not winning this. It's just a false sense of security for the Dockers. That's what it is. A real big false sense of security. This is a guaranteed six points for Dockers, isn't it? I said it's just every time, every time that I watch, it seems Swans are just slow to start. That's the the siren for the first quarter, but we've got a free to go. This 
this would be brilliant if he scuffs it. <laughs> that was harder to miss. Oh, man, he couldn't score in a brothel. Oh, brilliant. He absolutely fluffed that one. That was awful. Brilliant. We'll take that all day long. That couldn't have, you know, that could not have been much easier. Take that all day long. Right, I'm going to turn the sound down. That's so funny. Love it. See? Yeah. Yeah. Frio are screwed with kicking like that. They are screwed with kicking like that. But I will take that all day long. Uh, maybe, maybe that is a sign of things to come. Swans are back in the game. Uh, yeah, well, you do have plenty. You do have you do have plenty of good rectangle grounds. You could have played at the Marvel. Yeah, you could have played at the Marvel Stadium. Marvel Stadium's beautiful, right? Or is the Marvel Oval? I don't know. You got plenty. Of, you got plenty of good ones though. So the first half, uh, it's it's fairly low scoring first half. I don't well. Six chances for the Dockers versus two for the Swans. I think Swans have been... Yeah, ignore me. It's because it looks rectangular from the outside. I'm just confused. Um, the, the Swans have just been slow, haven't they? They've been a bit slow, not really a lot of energy. Hopefully that's going to change in the second quarter. There you go, the Ami, the Ami Stadium. I, I don't... I think it is weird... I'm just going to look at it now. While it's the quarter break, if anyone is on my Discord, so Nunya's on the Discord, I'm just going to quickly switch over to the to the rugby just so I can look at how it looks in the stadium. So, yeah, look, they're too far away. They really are too far away. And it's a late kickoff. Uh, between the... The, between the first and second quarter and the third and fourth quarter, it's only about five, 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 ten minutes-ish. It's not very long. I, t I tell you what, I've just switched. I see, I've just switched to the to the rugby quickly, just during the quarter. Um, I really, really like, really, really like the Australian Wallabies, the the Wallabies top. It's really, really nice. Looks a bit weird where it's got the purple um, purple ca uh, Cadbury's uh, advert um, sponsor on, but I do really, really like it. Oh, I love how they've done this. They the the advertising boards are all are all in um, Aboriginal. How cool is that? All the advertising boards. I don't know if anyone's watching it, but it looks so good. Let's all listen to God Save the Queen, shall we? Yeah, let's all listen to God Save the Queen. I know, it's really annoying. I would have watched this. I would have watched this, but I had to watch the swans. I had to watch the swans. No. She hasn't got long left, has she? Dum, 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 dum. Oh, well, it wasn't... They didn't sing it for very long. 
There's a lot of there's a lot of English down there in in uh, Sydney. I really like I do I really like the Australian wallabies top. I don't want to be disrespectful, but let's get back to the AFL, shall we? Back to the AFL. Back to the AFL. Right. Come on. The Commonwealth Games is coming up. I'm I, I, I'm not going to be watching it much of it, but well, I might do. I know we got the bowls, the lawn bowls at Leamington. I think that is I, that is spot on what he's just said. The commentator, to be fair, the Swans don't panic. That is the thing, isn't it? Uh, Search Ford Limited. I am watching the AFL at the moment, sadly. So I'm on on this. But go the go the Lions. The Lions are going to eat the Wallabies. All right. How far am I behind? Yeah, still about 25, 30 seconds behind. Heaney isn't tall enough. He can't fly. Need a strong, a strong second quarter here from the Swans. We actually just want some chances, some attempts at goal would be good, even if it's behind, just to, sh just to show the attacking mentality that we can, we can have. <laughs> to be fair, I can stream two things at once. Um, I can stream two things at once. However, it just makes the screens a bit smaller. But yeah, no, I could. Look, I can multi-screen. I don't know if I want to, though. Hang on. Sky Sports... Yeah, I can multi-screen. It just means, though, that I am can't see as well. Uh, let me give it a try. Let me find you another one. Stand by. Try that one if you like, pun of us. Isaac Heaney, he's going to get six points here, I reckon. Six points for Isaac. Swan's goal machine. Da 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 Come on, Isaac. Oh, for post. Ah, damn it. That is annoying. That is annoying. Uh, Nanya, if you, I know you're the only one in the Discord. You okay with it being both games? Both games showing.
Yes, good mark. Good. We've got to take these opportunities, though. Got to be scoring the goals, not behinds. Uh, Kian, yeah. If you're on the Discord, mate, I've got both showing. I can multi, multi-screen, mate. Uh, Steve, you tried the one that I just put up. Another behind though, so got to be more accurate. It's showing, at least it's showing attacking intent. That's a plus side. You know, we're showing that we can attack, but they weren't that difficult opportunities. Were yes, another mark. Imagine if we had scored them. <sighs> uh, Lock, no one's here to watch that, mate. Uh, Cal, I've been watching since the s near the start of last season, so so about a year and a half ish. The. The T the TK one the TK uh, Discord that should work that that sh that is one that is unlimited no time limit so I'm surprised that's not working. Um. I don't know what way round we can do. I'm just thinking you could possibly add me as a friend on Discord and then I can invite you. That may work. Got to kick it. Free kick for what? What's it a free kick for? <sighs> for bloody hell. Don't understand. Don't understand. Um, I'm just trying to find my... Sorry, I'm multitasking at the moment. I'm just trying to work out what my um, username is. And then you can add me and I can invite you to the Discord. do I find it? I'm streaming at the moment, so it's not letting me. Right, what I do, if you want me to try and personally invite you, it's Rob Reacts Hashtag, uh, hashtag 0609. If you, if you add, uh, if you add me as a friend on there, I can try and personally invite you. I think. Yeah. So if anyone can do that, then. I can add you, try and add you directly. As four, four behinds, it's awful. And actually, we had four really, really good chances at scoring. And we've just given an easy one to Dockers. That 
That's frustrating. Very frustrating. So 27-10. No, it's, yeah, but it's frustrating. No, that's nonsense. The commentator is saying it's frustrating when you spent so long in the front half. No, we haven't scored. That's what's frustrating. We've we've got three behinds in this in this quarter when we've been dominant. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, if wow, that is awful. That is awful. 20 behinds. Missed. Just one. Just one. Uh, Steve, I've just, yeah, I've, uh, Steve, I've just invited you to this server, see if that works. Hang on. Another behind. Another behind. Is annoying. Just poor kicking from the Swans. That was just as much of a push as, as anything else, I think. We've got to get more accurate. bit frustrating I can tell you that it is a bit frustrating watching swans today
I, I do, uh, I, I do question, I do question some of the kicking though, because some of it is awful. When it is their job to kick, there's no pressure on really, other than the crowd and, and, the, and the actual, just the game in general. But when there's no real pressure to, to, to make a kick, you're at a decent angle, decent distance, and you still miss. You know, five behinds and one goal for Swans is just awful. It's absolutely awful. Oh, I'm, I, well, yeah, I'm looking forward to the win. Um, sorry, the, the hurling tomorrow. I cannot wait for it. Limerick won it last year, didn't they? Twenty-three point margin. It's not good enough. Uh, well, the, the, the it is it is true. I I was right in when I said that um, Swans are going to be better in the second quarter. However, they can't score. So that's yeah. Come on, Swans. Come on, Swans. Didn't take the chance. Didn't take the chance to push. Oh, buddy. See, see, that is that is the brilliance when you see that. Shame it's not in an attacking area and he's not going for the kick, but he hasn't really done a lot in this game, has he? That is the annoying thing. I haven't really seen enough of Buddy. He's going off. He's being benched for a little bit by the looks of it. Tight, there we go. 34 17. We've still got this. We've definitely been the better team in the second quarter. But it's having the consistency. That is the thing, isn't it? It's just having the consistency. Yes, come on. Let's bring it back even closer. Swing! 
Another behind. Six behinds. <sighs> yes, we have, Mr. Commentator. We've had a lot of chances. Hey, large chips. Take it, mate. Take it. Another miss. Seven behinds. So we've had six behinds and one goal in this quarter. It's absolutely mad. I'd also like to say England are 3-0 up. Typical Eddie Jones play. Let's win with penalty kicks. Uh, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure, Nanya, if I'll be watching the Gaelic football next week. Uh, I need to just check what's the plan of things. Uh, so I'm not sure yet. Um, Stee, if Stee, if you're still here, Stee, uh, join the server. You are banned. So join the server, mate, and then you can watch. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. And um, Puniverse, what's Puniverse? What's your Discord? What's your Discord? Add me on on Discord as a friend, and let me check. Yeah, Puniverse, just let me know what your Discord is, please. And I'll search. What's your What's your Discord name? There you go. Uh, you're in, Puniverse, or you can join again. So, basically, I've worked out why. It's because if you join the server and then you leave, uh, then I ban people because I don't want people joining just to use me to watch the game uh, but obviously there's people that watch the game plus um, plus are on the server so you know and plus what do the watch long so there you go you're on 
35-19. Three minutes 50 left. We can get back to the game now. Hi, Goanna. We've got to do more. I really don't think Hickey's good enough. That is the one position I think we need replacing. I think Hickey needs to go. I am go on it. Yeah, I've got I've got two streams on. I've got multi uh, multi screen. I'm watching uh, the England Lions win, and the Sydney Swans going to win. But it is it is up there for everyone. It is on the Discord server. I don't know, Dave. I just, I just don't see him doing enough, and and that's possibly because I compare him with Gorn because I think Gorn is the best ruxman in the league, uh, and so I'm comparing with him, and therefore, I don't. Yeah, that's possibly why he doesn't shine. Maybe. Hi, Dave. Gotta be, gotta be, Kevin. Gotta be. I, I think that's that's possibly the problem, Dave, that because I compare with Gorn, Gorn is such a good ruckman that no one can compare. And therefore, when I'm looking at Sydney compared to, to Melbourne in that position, that's why you think, well, we need someone better. But, yeah. He is. Certainly, Gorn is, is a player that is, is a ruckman but can play in other positions as well. Got to have confidence, guys. You've got to have confidence. Uh, yeah, a good a good win for for Ireland, Dave. Beating the All Blacks, right? Australia five three up against England. They just scored a try. Swan's still in the game, though. We are still in the game, sort of. 16 points behind. Two seconds. Oh my God, food has arrived. Food has arrived. You're going to have to excuse me now for drinking. Uber Eats has arrived. It's like, it's like every week. And amazingly, the dog didn't go mental. She might be outside, maybe. Uh, pun of us, it should work now, mate. Oh, I've even got an ice cream for the hot weather. Right, that'll be later. No, breakfast is over now. Breakfast. Remember, it's not like um, as the, the as they do in the film Big Daddy. Breakfast is only till half ten, isn't it? Amazing. Stop him! Oh, I did enough. Get him! Get him! 
No, you bugger. Uh, triple cheeseburger and chips for me today. Uh, it's ridiculous. Food just comes. James is. James sends me food. Seven three to Australia now. Matt, I love breakfast. Five, buddy. Come on, buddy, finish it off. Only problem is I know he scored. I mean, I haven't watched it yet because you guys have just spoiled it for me. Come on, buddy. Yes, back in the game. 26. 41. The problem is, that's the first kick he's had. So that's the first time he's actually got a mark. And that's half time. Right, let's get the sound on for the rugby, shall we? Yeah. Remember, I'm about 30 seconds behind. Right, we'll switch to the rugby for uh, the half time. Uh, talking about the rugby, honestly, I think Eddie Jones needs to go. I think he needs to go because um, it's just his style is awful. England have got some good attacking players and they don't know what to do with the ball. So frustrating. Uh, I will not be getting a Sydney Swans tattoo, just like I will not be getting a. Um, just like I will not be getting a Southampton tattoo. And if you have one, I'm really sorry. But I really do think tattoos of your football team or club just look awful. Yeah, but that's that's the point. Eddie Jones doesn't know what to get his players to do to break enemy enemy defences. No. I think you're about right, Kevin. Well, by the sounds of it, Dave, Swans may have a salary cap issue if, uh, if they give buddy what he wants Do you think I'm a part of the EDL or something? Why would I ever get a flag? Why would I ever get an England flag tattoo? Jesus. Um, are there, well, no, it's nothing in in the grand scheme of things, but it's whether or not that 700k is going to prevent us signing other players that are potentially good enough. 
Um, is there anyone... <clears throat> is there anyone um, looking good for the drafts? Anyone that potentially Swans could try and pick up? Ten three to Australia. Mm. Yeah. I said that's the rumours I heard. Um yeah, that's the rumours I heard about Dusty potentially potentially moving to Swans. Honestly, yeah. Rugby league is brilliant. Rugby league is all, it, you know, really is fantastic sport to watch. It's quicker than Union. That's the thing. That's what I like about it. It's quicker than Union. And actually, it's, it's, you got to be tough as, tough as, you know, tough as, uh, what's really tough? Tough as nails. There you go. Yeah, I think with the draft system, with the draft system, I don't really know who's who and, and, and whatnot. So I, it's, it's hard to invest in it because I don't know who the up-and-coming talent is. And even then, if you're drafting young players, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be seeing them in the first team, does it? No, Union doesn't flow more. Union doesn't flow more than League. No, because Union's very stop-start, isn't it? Union with scrums and everything, it's just very stop-start, whereas League is free-flowing. Well, that's 10-6 in the rugby. Once again, England are going to try and win with penalty kicks. Bloody Eddie Jones. How is any of you saying that Union is more free-flowing? That is so wrong. Yeah, that's so wrong. So I'm now eating ice cream. Yeah, it's more continuous. Uh, yeah, Union is more continuous. Um, league isn't stop start. It's more continuous with one team having the possession, maybe, but it's not more free flowing. That's that's not true at all. I prefer KFC Crushems. They're even better, I think. Nice 
I can't see, with how it's going at the moment, I can't see England scoring a try. They don't look remotely like they're going to score. Oh, really? Oh. I don't know. I said I, I enjoy both. I, I honestly enjoy League and Union, but for different reasons. And the one reason I prefer, I would, you know, the one reason why I prefer over, over Union to League, sorry, why I prefer League possibly over to Union is, is that it is more free-flowing. The hitting is harder. It's that, what do you do on that, you know, on that last tackle? How, how, do, you, how do you create a, a scoring chance? from that last opportunity. And and I think with Union, it frustrates me because quite often you'll get teams, and I've watched in England, for example, you'll get teams simply trying to win on penalty kicks, and that is so boring. Um, and, and yeah, there's, uh, that's a problem. And, and, yeah, I just... I think league is more free-flowing and quite often more entertaining to watch because quite often in Union, you spend, you spend half an hour just trying to get a scrum to work. I know, Kevin. Yeah, I know. I, I watched it. I, well, I didn't watch it. I saw before the start of this game. That's Amazon this time. Bloody door. Amazon. Um. Um, well, can do. So I can tell you what I've got while it's half time. Oh, at the post. Um, the, the smallest box. Hang on. The smallest box is a new SD card because I got a Nintendo Switch yesterday, partly for when we're flying on the aeroplane and it means we can play. That's that. Also, because it is very hot, my new van, uh, my new van doesn't have a vent on top, so. I have bought a circular saw drill bit. Hang on. Yeah, I've bought a circular saw drill bit. And, hang on, stand by. So I bought that circular drill bit to drill a hole in the top of my van and Hang on. I 
Are England going to get a try in the last seconds? Go on. Yes, no. He couldn't reach the line. Hang on. Oh, maybe I have to, yeah. That's a good shout. I could vlog that. That could be like a midweek vlog. That's a good shout, that is. That is a good shout. Extra content. Uh, and then I've got a... Uh... He has scored now. Get in. Eleven ten. And yeah, and then I've got a um Yeah. Uh air vent for the van. Don't know how it even works really, but that will need to be installed either to tonight or on Sunday. Because it is very, very hot on Monday and Tuesday, especially. Um, potentially, they're saying, potentially, record. <coughs> we could, um, it's saying we could potentially reach the hottest day since records began this, this in the next couple of days. So, yeah, anything to keep the back of my van a bit cooler. To be fair, no, it's gotten about 28. But I tell you what, no, it's, it's, hang on. Let's have a look what the weather's going to be. Come on, Owen. So that is, hang on. Oh, Farrell missed it. Uh, that is the potential weather. Hang on, when it focuses. So up to 34 slash 32 potentially, right? To be fair, I have got the air conditioner down. I've got a portable one. So as the last leg with Adam Hills is back on. And, um, and actually, even he said last night, he was like, well, you know, it's, it's still ridiculously hot. And what do, he, he said, what do English people think Australians do when it's that hot? Um, and he even said, Australians stay indoors. And the thing with Australians is, you've all got air conditioning. So you stay indoors and have air conditioning. You know, so. Mm. Well, that's just the weather forecast here. But. Um, they are saying it may get closer to 40. So, hi, Hannah. Hannah's joined us. And to be fair, we, um, we got solar panels, not this Thursday, last Thursday. So, um, I can use the air conditioning during the day because it won't cost me anything. In the evening, though, I can't use it. It'll be too expensive. Well, there you go. So you've got the options, right? Jaden, you need to get rid of that, mate. You need to get rid of that um, mullet if you've got one, mate. It's not cool. It's not big and it's not clever. But the point is, you guys don't go outside with the, the, the hot weather, do you? Let's be honest. Even though it's still too hot for you lot. How dare you? I am not balding, Punniverse. 
My hair has stayed like this for years. I thought it was going to go, but... It has. It has. has gone to my chin. Uh, it's receded. My hair has receded if we're going on this. Hello, little lady. Right, game on. Third quarter. Amazing. Amazing. Right. Mate, I, I, I know I got a big forehead, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not receding any more than it already has, okay? Got no need to panic. To be fair, minus five. Minus five is um, quite cold. Oh, thank... Timothy, thanks, man. That's really kind of you. Really kind of you. I will be having some beers. I can tell you that for nothing. I will be having some beers. I've got... As soon as this is finished, I've got a bowls match to play. I've got a bowls match to play on Sunday morning. I've got a bowls match to play Monday evening. It's non-stop. It is non-stop. And especially with this heat, there's no shade or anything. So it's, it is... Um, uh, Jake, Razor's a great man, for starters. He is a great man, so you're just envious of him. It's just running straight through us. I doing with the uh, I haven't looked today I wonder how I'm doing with the the predictions the tipping let me have a look my rounds three out of four so far Richmond messed me up Richmond screwed me I'll take that I do need Swans to win though, because I would have predicted Swans to win. Yeah, please do, Lot. Yeah, none yet. Yeah, please do. I am hoping to play some lawn bowls when we come down under. That would be quite enjoyable. I definitely pick Swans. Don't know why I pick Swans to win by, but I, I'm sure I would have picked Swans. You can't sort of pick against your own team, can you? Unless you're North Melbourne, Bombers, Eagles. Yeah, I did Sydney by 15. To be fair, I played barefoot bowls the other the, a few weeks back. It's quite.
quite nice having uh, bare feet on the grass as well, isn't it? Come on, find space. He just got shoved in the head. I'd give him a suspension. Ugh. To the pun of us, they are crap. That's the problem. And Swan should not have lost against them. That's the problem. What? Yes! Come on! Get in there. Create the smallest amount of space. We're scoring finally. We are scoring. Inconsistency. That's all it is, Peter. Inconsistency from the Swans. Timothy, I like a nice car. Um, I do like a nice car. I don't have the money to buy a nice car, though. That's the, that is the problem, Jaden. Swans, you don't know which team's going to turn up. We've got all this potential and quality, but you don't know which team is going to turn up. You know? It's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's the same as Southampton, the foot, you know, my football team. One day they'll be amazing, beating, you know, unbeatable, and the next they'll be the worst team in the league. <clears throat> this well, this is possibly going to be six points here for the Dockers. That's a shame, Lob. That is a shame. Didums and all that. Unlucky. I almost feel bad for him. And yet I don't. I'll tell you what, Nanya. Looks quite nice. That looks a lovely Wells Green. A lovely view of the sea as well. Looks very nice. Clo Cloverly, Cloverly Bowling and Recreation Club. Looks very nice. So, to be fair, Peter, GWS are awful. However, they did knock Swans out of the, the first playoff game last year, didn't they? I think Giants are one of those teams. They either turn up or don't. Mostly they don't turn up, but sometimes they do. Come on, Papley. Is he going for the goal? Or it looks like he's going for the goal. Bang. Oh. Well, we're 10 behind. 10 behind. Nine behind so far in this game. What are you on about, Dunstall? Come on, Heaney. Isaac Heaney, come on. It's a decent enough angle. You're not that far away. About 40 metres away. Come on, Heaney. Oh, 
the kicking today has been awful. Awful. Nine points behind, ten behinds and four goals. That's not good enough to win games. That's not good enough. Nice, we'll take that. Swan's ball back with us. He is a very short guy. Number 33. Who's number 33? I'm trying to look down the list. Who is 33 for Frio? I can't even see a number 33 on the list. Oh, Collier. Collier is a right short ass. He might even be shorter than me. Just small passes, Sydney. Yes. Warner playing it in. Yes. Tight angle. Tight angle. Come on. Come on. Let's put it, put it within distance. Amati, come on. Get in. Get in. Forty three plays forty. Three points in it. Frio really haven't done anything since that. I don't think Frio have done a lot since the first quarter. They've do they dominate the first quarter easily, but they've not done anything else. Yeah, I, to be fair, yeah, I don't mind being short in that sort of situation. Amati's been playing well. He has done well. God, imagine if we actually took our chances, though. Punch away, punch away, punch away. Get it away. Get it away. Good mark. I don't think he did throw him to the ground. Oh, Marty didn't keep hold of it. Oh! Clumsy, clumsy from Swans. We should have made the most of that. Get in their way, get in the way. Don't let them see their teammates. Oh, God. Oh, oh he's been dumped. Oh, no. Referees, umpires seen something. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Uh, I'm going to say five foot seven. It, it's like just under five foot seven, but I say five foot seven. I'm a short ass.
Right, slow it down again. Just slow it down. What are you doing, Astro? He's literally stood upright. Stood upright against the wall looking for a spider. Jesus. Frio coming down the wing. Just dummied him. <sighs> Pass wasn't on target though. I, t I, th I yeah, part of us. I think it's been really good, pretty much all this season, where every game has been at separate times. So you can watch every game if you really wanted to. I think that's been brilliant. Um, but when you get the two games on at the same time, it's strange, isn't it? When you want as many, when you want as many viewers as you can, uh, it seems strange to put two games on at the same time. But this is what was great when when COVID was. Well, I say when COVID was around, it's still around. But during the COVID era of of Premier League, that's what they did. They they put all the games at different times. Therefore, everyone could watch. A lot of it was free as well. And everyone could watch. It was amazing. Uh, and now, obviously, it's back to three o'clock and things like that. <clears throat> Still three points in it. Seven and a half minutes remaining on the clock on the third quarter. Get it out. No. Oh, good touch. Good touch. Get in front of him. Really, really good touch with his hand. Doc has 75, 72 votes in, by the way. 72 votes, 73 votes in. 26 Twenty-six percent only for the Swans. Uh, Fremantle are losing this. They are going to lose this. So I'm just getting the multi multi, multi screen on again because the the second quarter of the the Wallabies and England game is on. Oh, that's a bit too low on it. I know, I know. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button down below uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Oh, and don't forget to watch the vlog this week because I attempted to do Charlie's makeup. It didn't go that well. Get that, get that camera on. That's a goal to me. Looks like a goal. Oh, behind, sorry. Yeah, that's a behind, for Christ's sake. I know, Ashley, amazing result for Swans, right? Amazing results for teams above Tigers.
Come on. Create those spaces. Lena's snoring behind me. It's a hard life being a dog, right? A very hard life. Four points ahead for the Dockers. Like to take a bit of a lead before this, before the fourth quarter starts. Oh, did not catch that ball. Into the space, into space. Amati on the wing. Who's helping him? Away by the Dockers, but out of play. They are holding on to it, aren't they? They are holding on. Good. Is he going to go for goal from here? He's got to go for goal from here, surely. He's not, though. He's looking for a central position. What? Why? Just go for the goal. I know he's looking for an easier position, but they're all marked. That's a poor choice. Hi, Rugby League history, mate. Hiya. I don't know why he didn't go for goal then. At least you get a good chance of getting one or, th one or six points. Farrell's going for another penalty kick as well in the rugby. Get in, Warner. We've taken the lead. The first time in the game, Swans have taken the lead. 44 plays 46. Come on. Uh, England are also 10-14 oh, up. This is a day for the red and whites, all right? I tell you this now. The Aussies are going to be upset after this. Nice. Warner to find that little bit of space. Little little dummy, little shimmy. Created the space. Brilliant from Warner. And he got rewarded by being substituted. The first time, I said, the first time Sydney have taken the lead in this game. And it is on, well, the third quarter with four minutes and 30 left to go. Marty. <laughs> well, I made it. Cats are winning as well, are they? I did do the cats to win as well. Cats are... Yeah, I think cats are going to win that one. Cats are doing well this year, aren't they? Uh, no, Kevin. No, don't ask me, mate. Do not ask me. I roughly knew where the makeup went. Roughly. 
Just didn't know how to apply it. Behind. One point. One point in it. I'm sure the cats have not got help from the umpires, Jake. Don't be so dramatic. Three minutes, ten left. Swans have dominated this court, haven't they? They really have dominated. Big ball in. I'd say that was a push. I'd give that as a free for Swans. Hi, Sam. They do. They this this is the thing. They they Swans have drifted off a little bit. A little bit they've drifted off, but they need to press. They need to they need to work their asses off for this last couple minutes. The problem is I think nostalgia can be a bad thing sometimes. Nostalgia's great when you're remembering, right? And it's good for the emotions. But nostalgia doesn't always mean the truth. You know, when people say, oh, sports were better in certain eras, they probably weren't. Um, yeah, nostalgia plays tricks on your mind, I think. It is low scoring, Peter. It is low scoring. I don't care as long as Swans win, though. It can be 1-0 uh, for all I care, as long as Swans win. Go on, Marcus Smith. Marcus Smith. Come on. We've got a try. We've got England have scored a try. 10-19. <laughs> the Wally, Wallabies are done. 19-10 to England. Go on, Pat. Oh, I lost it. See, that's pun that should be punished, boys. Just shoved him into the ground. Papley's gone down. You don't then shove him into the ground. That's ridiculous. Mm. That's that's exactly it, Peter. I'm I'm nineties and, and it probably wasn't that good. Two points back in it then. I, I tell you what guys, I don't want you Aussies being too upset when England when England beat the Wallabies, alright? I don't want any tears or anyone to be too sad. No, I am 32 years old. 32. I'm a, I'm a proper grown-up. <sighs> ah, another behind. Three up. It's 21. It's 21 10. 21 10, Dave. Oh, 
That's the third quarter. It's it's very, very tight. The third quarter is done. Three points in it. Let's switch back to the rugby commentary, shall we? Um, yeah. Very, very tight. England need to push away as well in the rugby. One more try and the game's done, I reckon. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go and get myself a quick drink and pop for a wee. Toilet break. There you go. Back in a second, guys. Oh, I d Dave, I still, I still think Eddie needs to go. I still, I still think he needs to go. I stand by that. I have returned. Yeah, chair reacts. Exciting, right? Glad you agree. Praise the fact. All oh, right, I don't know what a lampine mic is. Do you mean one that attaches to my uh, to my lapel? Uh, thanks, Cal Travels. Thanks, buddy. Cal, where do you travel to? While we're discussing, I'm going to look at your I'm going to look at your YouTube channel. Hang on, Cal Travels. Where does Cal travel to? can't see your channel hang on Cal travels Cal you've only got six videos mate and they're three years ago gotta have more than that mate gotta have more Cal I didn't see yeah I missed it 
But the main facts are it's still 21-10. So what does it matter? Uh, the AFL's coming back on. I tell you, the, uh, the Sydney Cricket Ground does look lovely at night. Um, at night with the lights on and you get the, the, the ladies stand and that. It does look nice. Uh, guys, while it's a break, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The fourth quarter is about to start. The game is showing in the discord server so if you want to watch the game and you don't have access join the discord server and you can watch it from there uh, England are there Dave England are winning because we've scored more tries and penalty kicks than the Aussies so gotta be confident Uh, Kevin, I'm also watching. I've got multi screen on. I'll even show you my setup. Hang on. Let's show you this. This is this is what I am watching. If you can see. Hang on. That is my view at the moment. Get the ball away. Get the ball away. Dow oh, bugger. Ignore the mess around my computer, though. Hi, Tomo. Tomo, join the Discord. You can watch the game. Hi, cat. Oh, what have I just pressed? Um, cow travels. Cow. Just I could just call you cow. Uh, cow. If you want to send me a message on Discord, I can tell you how to get Adobe Premiere Pro if you've got Windows uh, for free. And that means it won't cost you anything to edit. Uh, yeah, send me a message on Discord or Face, well, Instagram or whatever, and I'll um, help you out if need be with how to do it free. Ah, oh, cat, cat, you must be gutted. I forgot you were a Richmond fan. Imagine, I don't want to rub this in, cat. Um, I don't want to rub this in, but you just lost to Melbourne. North Melbourne Kangaroos. That is painful. Like, the worst team in the league. You just lost lost to them. That's awkward, right? Um, Steve, I have... So, I use the computer to stream these... This... this um Because I've got a streaming service. I use my PC when I'm on my PC. Upstairs, I've got a um, Google Chromecast with Google TV. So I watch that on there. Um, oh, bloody hell. 5748. Um, and when I'm downstairs, my Samsung TV has an IPTV app that I use. Don't worry, Cat. Cat, I have no sympathy for Richmond. Uh, but mainly because I think it's hilarious that you lost to Melbourne. 
North. And Dave, remember, we didn't lose, okay? That's what matters. We didn't lose. It's how many points you get at the end of the game. Swans have got to sort this out. We don't want the first and fourth quarter to be the Dockers' quarters, right, do we? Swans need to have the second, third, and fourth quarter. Papley, nice ball control. Couldn't quite get the grips of it, though. I've got the what rugby on, mate. I've got the rugby on. I'm about to see the try that Australia just scored. Australia did just score a try. 15-21. They should score the conversion as well. Uh, Brand, Brendan, um, but he's not really done anything. He, he's he's marked the ball once and scored once, and that is about it. But he's been a little bit invisible, if I'm honest. <laughs> Cat, that's what I say about Southampton every year in football. We're rebuilding. We're rebuilding. Year after year after year. Papley. That's one. Back to seven. Or eight. Sorry, eight. No, as in, no, I mean cow, as in, so if you run Windows, you run Windows as your operating system. I just mean, no, no, Windows is your operating system. But Adobe Premiere Pro is what you can use. I can get you a pro, Adobe Premiere Pro for free. That's what I'm saying. Uh, can we win this game? Yeah, I, hopefully. Hopefully. Still plenty of time for Swans. As I said, Richmond did us a favour by losing. Okay, We have got to capitalise on it. We've got to capitalise on Richmond losing. This Jason Dunstall is a complete idiot. I'm fed up of listening to him. Big ball in. Excellent, excellent kick. I would certainly say, Cap, if Swans can win this, I would happily... I would happily let Richmond win next week. Get in. Back in it. We're back in it. Two points behind. Two points behind. It's so close this game. So close. Yeah. His commentary is awful. Just because you're a good player doesn't mean you're a good commentator. Michael Owen was a good player in football, but doesn't mean he's a very good commentator. England's still f still four points up in the un in Union. Exactly, Cat. Exactly. It doesn't have to be, you know, just because he's a good player doesn't mean he's a good commentator. Go on, go on, go on, through. Ah, behind. One point behind. Come on, Swans. Come on, Swans. Come on, 
Um, Cal, I uh, use a VPN and then I download it as a torrent, a cracked torrent. Got good play by Warner there. McInerney with the ball up. It's out to the wing. Good mark, about 45 metres. Yeah, I'm a pirate, mate. I am a pirate. So if you want me to tell you how to do it... Yeah, I know it's a business expense for me, but screw it. If I don't have to pay... Come on, Isaac. Straight through. Come on. Get in there. He stands at just six foot one. Isaac. Isaac. He takes us to the Premiership. Isaac. Isaac. He gets the ball. He takes the piss. When kicking it goal, he never miss. Isaac Heaney, Swan's goal machine. Na 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 na. I like Isaac Heaney. I do like him. He's exciting. Energy. So f five points up. Still need more though. Still need more. Thirteen and a half to go. I'm surprised Hunga Hungarians play the uh, show the game. That is certainly not a country I would have thought they would be showing AFL. Come on, come on. Swan's ball. Don't know what it was for. I didn't really see anything wrong going on in there. Nice, nice. Find the space. Well done, Amati. Close. You don't need to score 80 plus, Peter. You don't need to score 80 plus. It's about winning the game, right? It is about winning the game. Twelve minutes left on the clock. Sorry, Cat, what are you on about? What are you on about? I'm confused. Okay. The stats do say if you kick 100, you win. However, we're not getting to 100, right? 
So it just need to win. It doesn't matter how many points you get. No worries, Tomo. Yeah, 11 to go. How long's left in uh, the rugby? You got seven minutes left in the rugby. 11.45 left in the Aussie rules. This is going to be a day for red and white. It's got to be. It's got to be a red and white day. Come on. Nice. Play on. Play on. Just go. Go, go, go. Push that lead. Oh, Buddy's just completely missed the ball. Buddy has been pretty ineffective in this game. Uh, Pixie was here earlier on. I don't know where she, don't know where she is. Astro's laying down. Astro's laying her down in the kitchen. Lena's been appearing a little bit. Very, very tight in the rugby. Very tight in the AFL. A couple of cracking games to be watching. Oh. Post. Five points. Five points in it. He did. Buddy, that is, yeah, he scored one goal and ruined his teammate. That is what he's done so far today. Come on, Swans have nicked it. Swans have nicked it. He's going for the goal from a very tight angle. Come on! Get in there. Need another one. Need another one. Whew. Nice tight angle. Ho ho. I'll tell you what, I said I did, I did Swans to win. What did I say? Swans to win by 15, did I say? And we're up by 11 at the moment. I might, well, see how it goes. See how it goes, but I think we might be close for my tip in it. I want an extra match point, an extra score point or whatever they want to call it. Yeah, Swans by 15. Mm. Nine minutes left. Four, uh, four minutes left in the rugby. Still too close to call. 11 points isn't enough, really. We need to be up by more than 11. I know. Too long to go. Still eight and a half minutes. Couple of goals would be great. Couple of goals and it's ours. And potentially even a behind and a goal, it's ours. Uh, no, I just mean with the score line. So you either get one point for winning, or you get and or you get two for the match, don't you? So it's um, good for Swans. Uh, so it's just trying to get a more accurate score. They haven't. They haven't just haven't won many marks, have they, Frio?
Just under three and a half minutes left in the rugby. Yeah, potentially even two behinds may be good enough. I'd still prefer a goal and one behind. At least, you know, at least it pushes it to a little bit more of a distance. Uh, so, Jake, it's the super brew that I do, mate. Uh, yeah, the super brew. So, I said, you get one point for getting the result right. And then you... If, it's not going to focus. Uh, and then, if you're close, you get the M, which is an extra point. Oh, post. Ten points in it. Need a goal now, really. Swans need another goal. Swans get a goal. That at least then means that Frio need to get three. Did I tip Richmond? Uh, I did tip Richmond, yes. I did, Cat. And that is the one team that's let me down this week. The funny thing is, I did I did Richmond by 20. Because I didn't think they would do that well as others would have done. But Oh, big tackle. Big tackle. Hayward swings it into the middle. Yes! Come on. Get in there. Dave, give it 30 seconds as well, by the way. Give it 30 seconds. That's got to be game. That's got to be game. I know the whole oh, one goal every minute, but that's got to be game. In a low-scoring game like this, that's got to be it. Surely. Another goal. Let's keep pressing. Keep pressing. One and a half minutes left in the rugby. Australia have possession. But England is still four points up. That's the thing. Swans can beat the best teams. Look at some of our performances. We have beaten some of the best teams. So it's just about getting to the finals. We're, we're going to make the finals. Um, trying to get in the top four, preferably. And that's when you've got to turn on. You know, that's when you've got to turn the performances on against the big teams. <laughs> Scamp, that's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. That's a stupid thing, isn't it, Punivers? You know, you beat these big teams and then you lose to... Lose to bloody... Essendon. England have got this now. England have got possession. Courtney Laws. Courtney Laws is a bloody beast. Um, England have got possession with about 30 seconds left. As long as they don't make any silly mistakes and just keep the... Oh, no try. Held up. Yeah, exactly, Dave. And lost to Gold Coast. You lose, lose to awful teams... But beat the big teams. It just makes no sense. I think sometimes in, in life when you play sports, when you play the top teams, you almost play better. And when you play weaker teams, it almost makes you play worse sometimes. It's a red and white day, guys. I did say it's a red and white day. It's about to be an England day. Four minutes, 45 left. Barmy army. Barmy army. 
What's what's that, Australians? What? What? Sorry, red and white. Sorry, what? Yes. Easy, easy. That first win, that first win England gave the Aussies was just just to give them a little bit of a, a little bit of confidence, you know. Give them a little bit. England win. Right. Let's get the uh, let's get the rest of the AFL on full screen, shall we? Easy. That's what it is. Easy, isn't it? I've, I've liked rugby. I've Literally, rugby union was before was before AFL. I even went to see London... Well, I'm a London Irish fan. I went to see London Irish uh, in April. That's fine. That's fine. But it's still good to rub it in because it's England versus Australia. All right? Aussies don't like losing. The English don't like losing. However, the Australians lost... You hear that? The Aussies lost to England again. Well, what can I say? What can I say? You know, maybe the Australians should try winning for once, right? That's fine. We get the English players get to go back to England knowing they beat the Aussies. That's you know that's satisfying enough, right? That will make your summer even brighter. Beating the Aussies in their own backyard as well. In their own backyard. Oh man, what a day to be an Englishman! What's what competition is there next to beat the Aussies at? Commonwealth's coming up. We'll beat the Aussies in loads of loads of stuff there. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Three minutes. Come on, three minutes to go. Hickey! Oh, Hickey, Hickey. Gorn wouldn't have missed that. Dave, you see that? Gorn would not have missed that. <sighs> Unbelievable. That was harder to miss for Hickey, wasn't it? Fifty-nine seventy-six. Yeah, keep keep Hickey away from the goal, right? Oh, oh, two minutes, 10, 65, 76. They still need to get a couple. Fremantle need two goals to win this without a reply. Yeah, no, I'm complimenting. Hey, I'm com Sam, I'm complimenting Gorn. He definitely got some luck with the ball bounce there. Two minutes and 11 seconds. 11 points in it. Can Dockers win? They need two goals. Nice tight angle for the goal though. I'll give him that. Good reactions. Nerve wracking, isn't it? It's nerve wracking. Just, just one goal, one goal, or stop them from scoring. Don't give them anything. Good. Just keep the ball. Play it down the line. Keep the ball. Just take your time. Just take your time. Take your time. Just, just take your time. Kill the clock. Kill the clock. You don't need to give the ball away. 
Just pass into space. Kill the clock down. Got th that's all you got to do. They need two goals. A minute and 27. Why are you going long? Insane. Why are you going long? I know you're getting territory, but... Well, possibly take that. I just think we could just keep the ball. Players need to move into space. One minute and 12 left. Don't give anything away. Yes. Big ball in. We've got no Swans players, though. But it's time. It's time. One minute and three. Thanks, Cal. I appreciate it, mate. Just, just, just keep it in their area now. Just take your time. Swamp them, swamp them, swamp them. Oh, dodgy bounce. Look where your teammates are. Don't give it to the Dockers. Oh, come on, that's that's done. That is done. That is done. Get in there. What a day. What a day to be a Swans fan and English. Get in there. That's killed the game. That's put me in a good mood this morning. I've got to go win my bowls match now, though. Get in there. I want something, a del another delivery at the door. Exactly. Red and white day today. See you later, Punivers. Thanks, Kevin. Cheers, mate. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. 34 seconds left on the clock. I've got probably about done now, though. Cheers, Sam. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Siren. Come on, get in there. Another win for the Swans. Uh, where does that put us then? We're fighting for that top four spot, aren't we? We really are fighting for it. Uh, the Cats won as well today. So that puts Swans in sixth place. 44. So I said we're, we're well away from the 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 um, we're well away from ninth place, uh, well away from eighth place, should I say? So it's fighting. Four points now. Four points behind the top four. We're not going to obviously going to win, but the top four is still still there. I think Tigers need to do a job against Fremantle next week for sure. Um, but I will take that all day long. Take that all day long. Um, yeah, Sam. Uh, rugby, rugby league. It's more rugby league is more north. To be fair, league and union slightly differently. Right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I, I uh, really appreciate it. Um, pleasure to have everyone as always. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, tomorrow. Um, exactly, Dave. If we could beat the teams at the bottom of the table, we would, yeah, be in the top four easily, wouldn't we? Um, tomorrow, it may be a bit late for some of you. 
Uh, we're streaming at 3.15pm UK time for the uh, All-Ireland Hurling Final. That should be decent. Um, so yeah, that's my next stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be ending the stream there. Have a great, de- uh, well, great rest of your evening, whatever time it is over there. Um, yeah, amazing, guys. Honestly, amazing. Uh, have a great evening, and I will catch you next time. And don't forget, go check out the vlog. Go check out the vlog channel in the description down below. I'll catch you next time.